Good morning. Welcome to Poorville. May have to invest into some battery terminals. Of course, we may have them in stock. You just never know. So, these are the taillight wires. And I think they had an extra couple wires here. Right here. And I cut some of these off. That's why they're melted. I had to cut them with a torch. But I believe these went to the um, extra plug for the gooseneck. And the five star plugs or whatever they call them. We got the gas tank bolted on. Got the drive shaft bolted on. Harbor Freight needle nose. They really don't have a, they work all right, but here's my floor. tools in here and it's hot in here Got any drag to them at all? I still got to do the brake lines and one wheeler. I decided to finish this up before I got onto that fixing that box. Junkin' pool over here in Poirier. It's about 100 degrees in this truck. That's got a good windshield in it. It ain't cracked. Good oil pressure. I think that it's spinning pretty good. It shouldn't be spinning now, it's in neutral. Let's see if I can get it apart. Yeah, shut it off a second here. Well, that thing is still spinning. That should be neutral. That's always been right. There. Probably take me longer to get the stuff out of here than it did to fix it. I got one shock I got to tighten up. The gas tank's all on here good. I'm going to paint the drive shaft up. I did grease them right when I had them off the back ones. I was looking at that front. It may need a seal eventually, but I haven't seen any leaks, so that's an easy one to get to the front uh, drive shaft seal or transmission 
rear transmission seal. I think it's going to be all right. So I'm going to get these wires taped off and do a little bit more uh, undercoating underneath. Underneath here, I see a few bare spots. Take them wires up, do some zip tying, get the things, and then I'm gonna probably replace these couple back brake lines and up to the front up there. And I still gotta tighten that one shock bolt there, don't let me forget. The sockets on there, I won't forget. And I wanna paint the dry shaft up. I reused as much as I could, like the hose and stuff. And I wanted to make sure uh, they weren't going to be leaking or anything. That's kind of a tight fit for this stuff. But just feed all this wire through the frame through there and put some zip ties. Most of it's got the original clips. And then i got to figure out which filler neck I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use the one off of this tank here. You see how this one right here goes straight from the fuel pump? back into the tank, the, uh, I guess that's a return line. This is different on this one. This goes directly into the tank, not into the fuel pump. That one goes right in, directly into the tank. Right here. Well, mine goes up into here, but I think I can still clean that all up and use this. That one's got a snap bolt, get that out of there. I get all the dirt out of there so it's a runner again guy coming to pinch you could uh, get a couple coat hangers wire some taillights go get groceries thanks for stopping by Portville this is the junk and fools working on the old Chevy I would say most of the rust is gone now I did patch the frame underneath there uh, welded it up ground it down drilled a hole to strap stop the crack so I believe that's good to go I'm gonna keep an eye on the whole thing, but that's heater. I don't know what they call them, but that does that every time I start it and shut it off. I know what it is. I just brain dead right now. I'm out in the sun. Thanks for stopping by Portville. Have a great day. Goodbye now. Go find a project.